You get an ashtray, Janice, and you get an ashtray, Norma. Hi friends, it's Misty, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the haul video from the Exit 76 Antique Mall in Edinburgh, Indiana. I got some really cool things and I'm really excited to show them to you today. Before I get started, I will let you know that all of these things will be available either in a live sale or you can contact me directly at my email address, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and I will let you know if that item is still available. So let's go ahead and get started with the haul. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the things that I'm keeping, which honestly is one thing. Oh, a couple things. I'll show you those things first. The first thing is my little Forky. This is my little mascot. Have you ever seen the movie Toy Story? It was the latest Toy Story. Five, I don't know how many of them are, how many of them there are, but this is little Forky. And Forky loves trash. And if you are a picker or a junker, you like trash. We like to siphon through trash to find treasures. And I loved him. And he's mine. I'm keeping him. He's going to be my little workstation buddy. I also found a couple of babies. This little fun little cutie baby. She's got her nice little crocheted outfit on. And then now this girl's a little, she's a little indecent. So let me make sure that she's at least somewhat covered up. She is made by, ooh, this is an original lingerie Lou. Well, lingerie Lou. She's in some lingerie. She's like missing the half part of her, of her lingerie, but there we go. It's lingerie Lou with the side eye. She's got some major side eye going on. And she doesn't have any pants or lingerie bottoms. But I liked her. I mean, her hairstyle, you know, so she got a little bald spot or two. But I don't know. I liked her. Lingerie Lou. Who knew? I didn't. I didn't know there was such a thing. Okay. And then the other thing that I am keeping are some postcards. I think I'm going to put these in little frames. This one is an Indiana postcard. I love the graphics on it with the race cars on it. It's dated 1948. And then this one is my hometown where I was born in Anderson, Indiana. So it's another postcard. This one's copy or this one's postmarked 19, also 1948. So I think I'm going to put those in some frames and hang them in my house. And that's all the things that I'm keeping. Just those things. I don't think many people will probably want those things anyway, but the rest of the things I bought are all available or will be available for sale. I'm going to start with this guy because I bought this at Trader Baker's and it was supposed to have been in Tuesday's haul video, but I got, when I got everything in from that weekend trip, things kind of got put in wrong bags. So there was a couple things that I bought that I've already showed or I haven't shown yet that got mixed up into a haul. But I had a lot of people say, did you buy the toaster? And I did buy the toaster. And I have had several people already tell me that they are interested in the toaster. So I'm pretty certain that the toaster will be sold by the time that this video comes out. I just think that it is. it was just fun. I It's just a little, little lithograph toaster, probably from the 60s. Um. Oh no, oh, there we go. It has a little sw switch down there and you can, you know, make your bread pop up or down, but it's double-sided. Just a really fun little decor piece. I'm sure people may have had this same toaster when they were a little girl. It just, you know, it just, it, it sparks up that nostalgia feeling. Okay. So that, that I did get at Trader Baker's. The rest of the things I purchased, I did get from Exit 76 which is a huge mall to go into. If you are in the Edinburgh area, make sure that you do go in there. The prices are, there can be some spendier prices, but you can find things when booths have sales that you can definitely, you know, make a profit from. All right, so this plate, which I, I think that she's gorgeous. Now, she does have some wear. Well, actually, no, she doesn't. 
I thought she was missing some of the gold around her trim, but I don't, I think that it's the way that it was designed. But see, there's some gold right here and then none here. Gold here, none here. And it kind of goes in a pattern. So I don't think that it's faded. But I think that she's lovely. Isn't she pretty? I don't know where she's made. She's not marked on the back, but it was $2.50. So I just thought that she was really pretty. Very Victorian. Very romantic. And I thought that she was definitely worth $2.50 for resale. All right, the next thing I got was, was also $2.50, and it's this really pretty Capa de Monte piece. And I looked this thing over, and there are not any flaws in it. There's nothing missing. I, I was amazed. And what I love about it, because this was very much sculpted by hand, and the thing that I love about it is, it, you, in, in parts you can see, the thumbprints or the fingerprints of the person that made it. I just think that that's cool. Is that kind of bizarre and weird, but that you can see their prints in it? I just think that it's so neat. It is marked uh, Nouveau. Uh, I'm going to say that wrong. Capo de Monte uh, made in Italy. There is the stamp and the sticker. It's a candle holder, so you put your, your talk handle, your taper candle in there. Isn't this really pretty? Now, normally you find these and you're like, you're like, oh, and then you're like, oh, because they're, it's just delicate. It's all made by hand. It's sculpted. It's just lovely. And I, I did, I looked this thing over before I bought it and I didn't see any, I don't see any issues with it. And it was $2.50 at an antique mall. So I thought that was a really great deal. All right, I got a little lot of dogs. Oop, here we go. It's time for your little debut doggies. There are four little dogs in this box. And then they asked me, do you want the box? And I said, yes, I do. It's the baby beaver. Baby beaver shoes. I thought that was cute. So these little dogs, I got this little terrier. He's made in Japan. I think he's a little, like a little Scotty Terrier. He is stamped Japan. Oh, yeah. That side. And I want to say, that, did I pay like $6 for all of these? I think so. This one reminds me of Maybell just a little bit. I'm probably going to keep this one. Sorry, I'm going to keep this one because it reminds me of Maybell in a way. And this is also made in Japan. And then we have this little, which looks like a boxer to me. He's also made in Japan. Oop. It says down there. And then this is like a little hound dog. A little, like a little, maybe a little wiener dog. He's a little begging. Isn't he cute? So I got the four of those little doggies. And I got this Kokeshi doll. This Kokeshi doll was $4. Now, she is, she's missing something on her head because there's a nail. There's a nail right there. So, I think that, she, and there's a nail in the back of her head. I think she's missing a hat. So, I do think that she is missing missing that. But she's a little Kokeshi bobblehead doll. I think that she's fun. And these can be worth, these can be worth some money. There aren't any markings on the bottom of it. But she was $4. So I thought that even with the damage, I think that somebody would still like that. Like the, so I think that somebody would still like her because she can be displayed very nicely still. So I thought that she was worth picking up for $4. And I got some planters. I got, this is a Napco wear, I believe. Yeah, this is a Napco nursery planter. Now, I don't typically buy a lot of nursery planters. They don't typically do very well for me, but I think that this little lammy girl is just adorable. She's very lustery. Now, she probably would sell better around Easter time, so I may actually put her up and put her in pinky and save her for next Easter. Not unless somebody wants to purchase her now, but I think that she's sweet with her little pink bow. 
I really liked her. And I think that she was like three or four dollars. So she was she was a very good price point for me. And then I got this little Prixie. Now, this was $12.50, but I want to say that the booth was having a sale. But we have a little Pixie in, sitting on a boot. Little yellow Pixie sitting on a boot. So he's very fun. He's just kind of like hanging out. He's bored. He's got his hand on his on his little fist there. Very nice and clean planter of a pixie. And then I got this pant planter. This was the last planter I think that I bought that day. But this is just different, okay? I just, and how much, I paid $7.50 for him, which is a little, that's like on the tip of the spending reel for me as far as planters go, but it's just so odd and unusual. It's a sea lion planter. I have never seen a sea lion planter wearing a top hat nonetheless and a nice bow around his neck. It's a cute little planter. Isn't that fun? It's a sea, it's a sea lion planter. Made in Japan. No chips or cracks on him. He's very lustery. Now they says he's a, it, the tag says that he is a seal but I want to say that he's a sea lion because he's got those whiskers. Look at me trying to act like I know what animal it is. But to me, he's saying that he's a sea lion. What do you think? Let me know. Do you think that he's a seal or a sea lion? But I mean, I, I just couldn't leave him behind because I just thought he was just unusual and fun. Okay. I got quite a bit of salt and pepper shakers. So I'm going to try to show everything else. And then I'll show the salt, the salt and pepper shakers towards the end. Um, I did get this bird. Now, this bird is a, it's a little art glass bird. I love the white flecks of color in it. It was $5, but it was 30, 25 or 30% off. So, it's a sweet little bird paperweight. These look just look so nice in a tear tray or some sort of a, of a spring decor. And then I got this one. Now, this is Murano Glass. And I've recently sold one of these. And so, I picked up another one. It was $12.50 with 25% off. I'm going to take his sticker off. But just a sweet little Murano Glass bird. There's his sticker. Sweet little bird. Okay, and I got some other pieces of art glass. I got this is, um, it is, says it is original Lutetian glass. I know I'm saying that wrong. I, I say most things wrong, but this is what it says. Lutetian glass. We're going to say. Um, made in Japan. I paid $4 for this, and I think it's beautiful. Look at the swirls. It reminds me of Rainbow Bright. Doesn't this remind you of Rainbow Bright? I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's, I'm thinking of like her blonde hair and that she's just a Rainbow Bright. I don't know, but there aren't any chips or cracks on it. I love the way that the, that the glass is blown and the handle kind of curves under. I thought it was very pretty. And for $4 is a fabulous price to pay for the little Rainbow Bright base. I just, I just really like that. I really like that. And then this is, what did I pay for this? I want to pay, say I paid six or eight dollars for this um, blown glass lamp. It has a light bulb inside there. It does work. Um, I've tested it. I love the swirls and the glass. This is actually signed by Marie Alice. Marie Alice. It is a modern piece. I don't think that it's terribly old. I like how it has a little groove in there cut out for the cord, but just a really fun accent piece of this art glass. I don't know. I just thought it was very pretty. So I did get it and it does work and it has the little on off switch, which I think is great too. So you don't have to like climb over things to unplug things. So I like that part about it. So I don't know. I just really liked it. And then I got these lamps. These lamps are, they were also on sale. And I kind of hesitated at first, but then I thought, no, I'm going to say that's stupid not to buy them. There are these Flare 1956 
Poda lamps. And they are in excellent condition. They're like a plaster or almost like a chalkware. You can see it says Flare 1956. And they are these really fun white poodles. They don't have a shade. But I think a shade would be pretty easy to find for these. I mean, if you want a fiberglass shade, then, you know, good luck. But, I mean, you could replace a modern shade with these and they would still look pretty nice is what I'm trying to say. But... They're in excellent condition, excellent condition. And I got poodle people. So I know that those will be, now these poodles will be sold in a live sale. I'm just gonna say it right now. So don't email me about the poodle lamps because I am going to sell them in a live sale as well as the art glass. These will all be sold in a live sale. Okay, I got some book. Well, let me show you this first. Let me just show you this first. This just intrigued me. I thought it was very pretty. I paid $6.80 for this set. And it's made by Lefton. And I believe that this is a cigarette case. So it has this really pretty swirly floral design on it with golds and pinks. And a little bit of blue. Like these little flowers here are just a little, a little faded blue. And I think that it's a cigarette case. So you keep your cigarettes inside here. It's made by Lefton. And then it came with, I thought these fit inside, but they don't. Two little personal ashtrays. So I think that it probably it originally came with four, but we have these two and they're in excellent condition. So you get an ashtray, Janice, and you get an ashtray, Norma. And then we will keep all of our cigarettes in this pretty container. And you help yourselves, girl. Help yourselves, girls, if you want a cigarette. I got them in my case here. I don't know. Could you see? I can just see that, like, back in the day, having a bridge party, you know, putting your cigarettes in the fancy box and having fancy ashtrays. Was that a thing? Was that a thing? Did you, like, have bridge parties and like you that's when you broke out the cool personal individual ashtrays in my mind that's what I'm thinking I'm thinking that you like that's that was the stylish thing to do you were a hostess with the mostest if you had these really cool personal individualized or individual ashtrays for your bridge parties that's where my mind goes all right I also got some children I also got some children's readers, which I love. I love them. I love the graphics in them. I love the colors on them. I love to use them as displays. This one is the Unit Activity Reading Series in City and Country by Nyla Banton Smith. And it's a little school book. And it is dated 1937. Let's see if that's the... Well, the, someone had written 1937, but the copyright date on the inside of the book is 1935 by Silver Burdett and Company, which is, a, they still publish children's um, reading series today. But I love the illustrations in it. Excellent condition. So I got that one. And then I got this one too. This one is also made by a unit activity reading series, The World Around Us. So these are probably like geography series I'm a, I'm going to assume but they are short stories and this one is copyright 1938 and again it just has really nice illustrations in it colorful illustrations it's in great condition I just love these I love these and then, let me see, I don't think I got any other ones from that series. And then I got Good Times Together. Good Times Together. Another hardback reader. Um, this one has a little bit of folding on the inside there. This one is copyright 1936. But again, just, just wonderful, colorful illustrations in them. Billy and Bob were making an airplane. They wanted to have it ready for play day at the park. Billy said, an airplane must have a good propeller. I made a fine one, said Bob. Billy and Bob. Oh, look, they're playing marbles. So another fun reader. 
And then I, I love this one. I got a secret. It's behind my back. And she's like, well, tell me what it is, you dork. This is Easy Growth and Reading, Revised Edition. And this one is copyright 19... Well, the earliest is 1940. This particular revision was from 1957. So, again, just fun graphics in here. Oh, look at that little duck's got a little corn on the cob in his mouth. So, a lot of fun graphics in these. Oh, look at the little dog trigger. Trigger and the bee. It's a little Scotty dog. It's just, just fun. Fun stories. And I think that these are nice, too, to read. Like, if you've got grandchildren, just these books of, like, a different time and a different era. And children tend to really enjoy these. It's just amazing. I really like those. And then this particular book here, I'm sending to a friend. So, this is not available. I did pay... Now... These books, I believe I paid $8 a piece, seven, seven and $8 a piece for these hardback books. This one I paid $3.99 for, and it has a little bit of wear and pencil marks on it, but it is, oh, wait till I show this to you. You guys are going to flip out. Water Babies Circus and Other Stories by Walt Disney and Georgina Brown. And look at the little water babies. They're little mermans. They're little mermans riding on frogs how cute is that and look at the inside there's mickey mouse and there's bambi now it has a little bit of wear i'm not gonna lie it does and some naughty child had decided to write in pencil on some of the pages this is copyright the earliest copyright date is 1939 by walt disney productions hollywood california so we have Snow White, we've got a uh, little Cubby and Tubby Bear, Beaver and his brothers, but my favorite part, let me get to it, is Water Baby's Circus. Look at the little mermaid boys, the mermans, merboys. It's Pixie, Nixie, and Trink. Well, they were water babies. Their home was in a pond. Pixie, Nixie, and Trink played in the water all day. They played and splashed and swam from morning till night. I mean, it was amazing. I about died when I found it. So, I am sending this to a friend of mine who just about died when he saw it as well. So, this one is not available for purchase. And then I also got this big old bag of cookbooks for $1.50. They were in this bag. And we have the, they're all made by Good Housekeeping. This one's the Meat Cookbook, Party Pie Book, Egg, Cheese, Spaghetti, and Rice Dishes. Ooh. Hamburger and Hot Dog Book, and Salads. So just a fun, colorful, um, oh, those, that, don't those look lovely? But the graphics in here are really neat. See that? It's so, I must say these are 1960s. Let's just see. Let's see what the copyright date says. Hopefully they're, yeah, 1958. So I was close to the 60s. But, I mean, the graphics are just neat inside. So I think I probably will sell these all together as one lot since they are all made by um, Good Housekeeping. All right, and then the shakers. I got some neat little shakers, I have to say. Um, I got these little bears. Um, I don't, I don't, they're not Shawnee. They, they are an American pottery. I want to say that they're probably American bisque. But they were $5.50, and they were 30% off. Just cute little, little cubby bears shakers. And then I got these. Now, these have been spoken for. So, they're the cute little stitched elephant salt and pepper shakers. They don't have their stoppers, but they are in excellent condition. These have already sold. Someone saw them in a, in a video that I was doing and saw them in the background. Actually, no. I took a picture of my shopping cart, and they saw them in my shopping cart and emailed me about them right away. But I also got these little stitched. I want to say, oh, what are you, a dog? Dog? 
Lamb? I don't quite know. But they were $3 for the set, and they are all taped up. Well, it just says Southwest Salt and Pepper, which is not the right. These are not Southwestern. Maybe they just figured that the colors were Southwestern. But cute little stitched dogs, I want to say. They do not have their stoppers either. And then I got these little mice. I just thought that they were so cute. They're little yellow mice. This one looks like he's chewing on his tail. I'm not sure, quite sure what he's doing there with his tail, but it's in his mouth. But these are just fun little, fun little mod, little retro mice. And then I got some flamingos, or as my dad says, framingos, which is typically what I call them now. But um, they were $4.59. Um, I will be showing these to Jeffrey. He's actually coming today to visit. So I, he's very particular about his flamingos though. So I don't know if he will want these or not. Oh my gosh, they're all taped to the Dickens together. Here we go. The little flamingos. They're made in Japan. And then the, my favorite ones that I got were these jeweled eyed bears. Look at how fun those are. Oh, I love their jeweled eyes. He has like a little moniker in. And he is fancy. These are made by Lefton. Exclusive Lefton. But I love these. They don't have their stoppers. I want to say I paid a little up for these. But I, I'm just suckered in. Look, they've got little jewels on their buttons too. They're just fun. They're fun. But that is my haul. That is everything that I got from Exit 76 Antique Mall, with the exception of this that was purchased at another place. And all together, I spent $178 on everything that I had shown you, which is a lot. But, you know, I mean, I did pay up for a few things. I did buy those books for $8 a piece, so that adds up pretty quickly, but I'm still happy with the things that I bought and what I paid for them. So I'm okay with that. But if you see anything that you are interested in, make sure that you do send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. I'll let you know if it's still available. Other than that, everything else will be for sale in an upcoming live sale. I have live sales every Tuesday and Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So make sure that you are following me on YouTube and on Instagram. I do post a lot of preview pictures on Instagram. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram as well. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you leave me a comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification uh, if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.